Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Granny Christmas Stocking, which is a modern take on a very classic uh, Granny Square crochet Christmas stocking pattern. Now this pattern today I have worked in a super bulky weight yarn, so the squares work up quite quickly. Uh, the stocking is a great size, measuring about 24 by 13 inches laid flat, and uh, it just has a great texture to it. I'll pull back a little bit here so you can see. It's very, very simple construction, and, uh, and just a fun, easy pattern to work. Now this uh, pattern is available here on the video as well as in written format which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, there you'll find some more photos of it as well. Each of the granny squares measures about 8 inches and uh, for it you're going to need about 300 yards of a favorite super bulky weight yarn. Today I'm going to be working with the line brand Thick and Quick Woolies yarn in this fisherman color. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to take a look around. Uh, also to subscribe. There's uh, lots of other Christmas stocking patterns here on this channel and many other great free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials as well. Now our pattern today is worked in rounds and uh, it's worked by creating eight granny squares. So to work our granny squares in the super bulky weight yarn, we'll start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain of four. So chain four and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch to make a ring. You're now ready to begin round one. For round one, chain three, and your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. Next, work two more double crochet stitches all into the center of your ring. Chain two. Now work three double crochet stitches all into the center of your ring. There's one, two, and three, and chain two. You're going to repeat that two more times. Three, double crochet into the center of your ring. And chain two. Three double crochet into the center of your ring. And chain two. Once you have four sets of three double crochet stitches and your chain two, join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. This brings you to the end of round one. For round two of our granny square, we're going to slip stitch into each of the next two stitches and into the chain two space. Chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch. Now into that chain two space work two more double crochet stitches chain two 
and three more double crochet stitches all into the same chain two space. Skip the next three double crochets and into the next chain two space, work three double crochets. chain two and three double crochets all into the same chain two space. You're now going to repeat that into each of the next chain two spaces. So into the next one, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets and then repeat for your last chain two space. Once you've come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first uh, starting chain three. You're now ready to begin round three for round three slip stitch into each of the next two stitches and into that chain two space and chain three. This counts as a double crochet stitch. Next work two double crochets into that chain two space, chain two, and work three more double crochet stitches all into that same chain two space. Skip the next three double crochet stitches and in between the next two stitches work three double crochets. So I'm just inserting my hook down in between those next two stitches. Skip the next three double crochets into your next chain two space, work three double crochets chain two and three double crochet stitches all into the same chain two space. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next three double crochets then in between the next two work three double crochet stitches Skip the next three double crochets into your chain two space, work three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. Once you come all the way around, you join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. That brings you to the end of your round three. There's only one more round to work in our granny square. And what we're going to do is chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, and then into each of the next two stitches. When you come to your chain two space, into this chain two space, work three single crochet stitches. You're then going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across, then again work three single crochets into that chain two space and so forth. You're going to work one single crochet in each stitch, three in each chain two space, all the way around your square. When you come back to the beginning, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off and weave in your ends. You're then going to work seven more squares. So you'll for this pattern you'll want a total of seven granny squares and uh, then you can meet me back here and we will piece it all together. Once you have worked your eight squares such as I have here you're going to tuck in all of your ends 
You're then ready to piece your squares or sew your squares together. What you're going to do is ta begin by taking four squares and you're going to have to do this twice, once for each side. And you're going to lay them down in the shape of an L. So you want one piece over here and then three pieces up here. And actually I turn them so that their wrong sides are facing, just like so. You're then going to just simply take a yarn needle and matching up the sides together, you're going to sew your squares together. And all I did was just do a quick, um, I believe it's called a whip stitch, all the way around. So I'm working through both thicknesses and you just want to piece them together so that they are in the shape of an L and your L's will have to be pointing opposite directions in order for them to fit uh, together so that both the right sides are facing out. And you're just simply going to sew each of these sides together. Just like so. And I, I used a stitch instead of crocheting them together because I didn't want there to be a little bit uh, of, a, of an extremely visible seam. So just go ahead, sew each of your squares together so that they are in the shape of an L. So you're going to sew here, sew here, and sew here. Go and do the same for the other side of the stocking and then meet me back here. Once you have your squares sewn together, you have a couple pieces that look like this. Your four squares in the shape of an L. And it's now time to sew these together. So what you want to do is you want to turn them so that the right side is facing out. Or facing in, sorry. You want your, wrong, your right sides together, your wrong sides facing out. And now up in the top corner of your sock, you will want to join your yarn, working through both thicknesses, and then join your yarn. And we're going to crochet these sides together. If you wish, you can continue sewing them. Uh, I just, uh, I like crocheting my pieces together, so we're, I'm crocheting them together. So insert your hook, working through both thicknesses, chain one. Now you're going to simply slip stitch in each stitch working through both thicknesses all the way around your stocking. So inserting your hook through the top piece then through the bottom. I'm working under both loops of each side of my square and I'm just slip stitching in each stitch all the way around. Because we worked that final round of single crochet stitches around each squares of the squares, it makes it much easier. I'm just going to quickly slip stitch all the way around, across the bottom of your foot, back up top, and then uh, until you come back up to the top of your stocking. Uh, at that point, don't fasten off. We still have a couple more steps before our Granny Christmas stocking is complete. So go ahead, slip stitch through both thicknesses in each stitch all the way around. Once you have slip stitched all the way around your stocking, there's no need to fasten off, but you can remove your crochet hook briefly. You're then going to turn your stocking right side out. So you want your slip stitches and the back of your granny squares to be on the inside. So there we go. going to turn it right side out and 
this time you can give your sock a little bit of uh, shaping so that your corners aren't too sharp if you'd rather one that's more of a traditional sock kind of style but you should have it nice and tightly seamed all the way around your yarn is still attached up there at the top you now have the right side facing we are almost finished our stocking what you'll want to do is chain one we're now going to work the cuff of our sock and for the cuff of our sock we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around so into the top of your sock all the way around the top simply work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around when you come to your seams and I'll show you as I come around here it's up to you but you may feel that you need to work one directly into the seam or if you're working into the stitches on either side just simply make sure that they are pulled fairly tight so that there's no large gaps up there at the top so we're going to continue across on the other side I'm just going to keep working Here we are. And because I don't want there to be gap, I'm just going to work one more and then join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You can then fasten off and weave in your ends now for a hanger so if you're going to hang your stocking as i have created here uh, you could leave your yarn attached if you would like otherwise join your yarn again with the slip stitch make sure you're at the back of your sock so it will depend on where you left off but you want to work at the back at the heel and there we go and you'll join your yarn with a slip stitch just into the top of one of your half double crochet stitches make sure that it is fairly secure You may want to go and uh, sew that, especially if you are anticipating that your stocking will be filled come Christmas time. Simply join your yarn. Then all I did was chain 10. And then worked another slip stitch down again into the back of my cuff fasten off then you can go ahead and weave in your ends and just make sure that they are nice and secure and that's all there is to working your granny christmas stocking again head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com there for some more photos uh, as well as the free written pattern i'll put the direct link in the description of this video and uh, other than that have fun thank you so much for stopping by and i look forward to seeing you again until then happy crocheting bye <music>